Hi, Bill here with Bestop. Today we're going to be doing the install on the Sun Bikini on the all-new Ford Bronco. We're going to be doing the install mainly on the four-door vehicle, however there's very few differences between the two, so we'll also cover the two-door specific as well. First things first, you're going to want to take everything, unbox it, and try to lay it out just so you can familiarize yourself with the components that are involved as well as the installation instructions. So when you first open the box, lay it out, the first thing you're obviously going to notice is the bikini top itself. Along with that bikini top, you have the associated hardware and the eye sheets. So within the hardware kit, you have four millimeter spacers, you have the bolts, you have strap keepers, T-hooks, and your crossbow brackets. So along with the hardware that you have that's all included in the kit, you are gonna need a few tools. You'll need a T30 and a T50 Torx driver, as well as a ratchet or handle. So the first thing we want to do is install the T-hooks on the front of the bikini top. To do that, easiest thing to do is first lay the top out. Uh, you're going to want the dark side facing up, that's the outside of the vehicle. Uh, there's a light gray on the inside, so it just kind of helps differentiate between the two. You're going to take the hooks, and to kind of help you with a right hand, left hand, if you line up the edge of the hook with the edge of the bikini top, and you want the hook facing forward and down. So we're going to take that. We're going to take this web strap, come up from the bottom, through the hook, back through the buckle, and then we're going to go ahead and leave that a little bit loose for right now. When we install it onto the vehicle, that's going to help us get the hook onto the vehicle itself, and then at that point we'll go ahead and snug it down. Now that we've done the one side, we're going to repeat the same action on the other. Now that we got the hooks on the front, we're going to move to the back and we're going to be installing the strap keepers. To do so, you want to make sure that you have the tail off to the side. We're installing this on the main strap. The use of this is we're going to have this on here. Once we pull it tight, we're going to be able to capture that tail just to keep everything kind of nice and tidy. So to do this, you go to the back side where you have the split in the center. We're going to feed the web strap through and then you're just going to have to work it a little bit to get that strap fed. Once that's on, once again, we're gonna be able to move this around when this is installed in the vehicle and pulled tight, but we'll be able to center that up, capture the tail of the strap itself, and that's gonna keep everything nice and tidy. So now that we got this one done, we're gonna repeat the same step on the other additional seven straps. Once again, making sure to keep that hook facing up towards the tail on each one of the straps. So now that we have all the strap keepers in place, we're gonna go ahead and roll the bikini up. We're gonna start at the back. We're gonna work our way forward. This just makes it a little bit easier for, uh, for the install when we move to the vehicle because at the vehicle, we're gonna start at the front and then work our way back. So we'll go ahead and roll this up. And we can go ahead and move over to the vehicle now. Okay, so now that we've made our way back over to the Bronco and we have our bikini top rolled up, we're gonna start by laying it across the front of the vehicle. We're gonna install our T-hooks and then we're gonna roll this to the back. Now that we've made our way to the top of the vehicle, we're gonna start uh, putting these T-hooks in and moving uh, rearward from there. There are two magnets in the front corner. If you get those to attach first, uh, that'll help hold the whole assembly in place while you do this. So you put that on, you take your T-hook into the hole on the side, and we're gonna leave it loose until we roll everything back and then we'll pull everything tight. Now that this side's done, we're gonna go ahead and repeat it on the other side. 
Now that we got the hooks in the back, we're gonna unroll it, uh, working to the rear. If you have a, uh, a friend come help you, it does make it a little bit easier. As you get to the final roll, if you hold the long strap on the outside, it makes it a little bit easier. We're gonna come in and with this hook, we're gonna catch just underneath the metal. We're gonna work that all the way across for all four and then come back and tighten them up. So now that we have the back held in place, we're gonna to come to the middle here in this bar to attach it to the vehicle. You want the wider portion of that rail to be up and the narrower to be down. What we're gonna be doing is taking this T50 bolt out, taking the T50 Torx, we're gonna remove this bolt. Now that we've got the bolt out, we're gonna put the bracket. You have the four millimeter spacer from the kit. It goes down first, put the bracket into the bow and then reinstall that bolt. We're gonna go ahead and make it finger tight for now until we get both sides and everything uh, snugged up and then we will tighten down at the end. Now that we have this side finger tight, we're gonna repeat the process on the other side. When everything's finger tight and in place, we're gonna come back, snug it down with our T50. At that point, we're gonna be able to start cinching the straps fore and aft to really pull the bikini tight. With the center bar now snugged up tight and in place, we're gonna to come to the back and we're gonna address these rear uh, corner straps. So we're gonna make sure that they are as loose as they can be, giving us as much length as we can. It comes down around the outside of the vehicle and then it's gonna wrap up and we're gonna be pulling out this T30 bolt. This is gonna go underneath, we're gonna tighten it back up and that's what's gonna allow us to pull that tight. And we're going to bring that strap around, make sure that it's going to lay flat when it's pulled tight. Put that bolt back through, capturing the strap. We're going to begin tightening it back down. Once this is snug, we're going to repeat the process on the other side. Okay, so for the rear strap, we have jumped over to the two-door vehicle. If you have a two-door Bronco, it's gonna be a little bit different than the four-door. We're gonna feed the strap along the outside. We wanna make sure we pull the seat belt back and we're gonna feed this underneath and then we're going to affix to the bolt on the bottom of the speaker pod. We just wanna make sure that we don't interfere with the seat belt at all. So we'll go ahead and tighten this up and then we'll repeat on the other side. Now that we've tightened up both bolts here and we have both corner straps on, we're gonna go ahead and snug this up a little bit. Once again, we don't want it too tight. We just wanna make sure that we're taking some slack out and the uh, bikini top is, is held firm. And then we're gonna work our way back to the front, tighten everything down, and then everything will be cinched down. All right, so now we're gonna come back to the front of the vehicle, uh, hop in, and we're gonna do two different steps here. There's uh, some small plastic hooks in the middle that we're gonna use um, to pull that tight and then you're gonna have a strap on the outer that gets fed through the receiver and then snapped into place. So starting with the hooks, helps if you get a finger on either side of the web strap, push it forward, locks in place. Same thing on the passenger side. And then for the web strap, we feed it down through the hole and then it comes back up and it's gonna to snap to itself. And then we'll do the same on the other side there are two magnets on the outer corners that should find their home, but just make sure that that kind of lays out. It'll stick to the metal, and that's gonna give us a nice clean front edge. Now that we're done at the front, we're gonna go around and we're gonna tighten down all eight straps and then use the keepers to hold the tails in place.
As we pull all these tight with the length of the tail, it may be beneficial to go ahead and fold this back on itself while you use this keeper to hold it in place. Helps keep everything nice and tidy and out of the way. Okay, so if you do have this installed, you can keep it installed underneath either a soft top or a hard top. To do so, we release the hooks and the strap that came through the receiver on the inside. You're gonna to want to let a little bit of tension off on this front corner, and then the top itself actually comes back and snaps down, and that's what's gonna hold it in place, allowing you to get to the receivers at the front of the vehicle. All right, with the top back, go ahead and take that retention strap, and go ahead and snap it back to itself. We'll do that on both sides, cleaning up the look. All right, and with that, we now have the new sun bikini installed on the Bronco. We're ready for some open air, some sunshine, and some fun on the trails. If you have any questions or concerns, please either go to besthop.com or reach out to our customer service team at the 1-800 number, and we'll see you out on the trail.